betray one another and will hate one another. If you keep the series, the sign of the times and the end of the age, the sign of the times and the end of the age or the end of the world. Now let me just go back and, and, and pick up these two scriptures I wrote just for ready to add in addition to 9 and 10 verses 7 and 8. It's amazing to be your good patience, keep your kingdoms. There will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in various places or diverse places. I want to pause for a moment. I don't want to watch the news. In Germany, Germany they have so much water from rain that it has destroyed homes, cars floating down the road. Uh, all of this stuff is going on. Uh, then you got in, in, in the, uh, Oregon, California, you got the fires that are going on. I want to say something. I need you to hear me, please, ma'am, please, sir. We better pay attention to what is going on. I know they don't watch news, but I'm watching news now more than ever, especially since, I'm, since I've been in the 24th chapter of Matthew, uh, watching all this stuff going on. Yes. And then let me say something. The old folks just say this, and y'all ain't get mad at me when I get through, but it's all right to do what God told me to do. Right. So you don't say it. Uh, we too with these anxiety. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I was growing up before 49 of those, my grandfather used to sing a song called Zion. What's the matter now? Yeah. You don't pray like you used to pray. Right. What's the matter now? Mm -hmm. You don't do what you used to do anymore. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Mm -hmm. And see, now we should be careful because even when we in this pandemic, it's not over yet. But even in that pandemic, people are still doing the same stupid stuff they've been doing before. Yeah. I told you I pre pandemic last week, but, I, uh, but I'm going to go with what I told you to take. See? Come on, come on. People are still doing the same craziness. Stuff before the pandemic, yeah. and while in the pandemic, still, and there's no, there's much, there is, there has been no change. Let me explain what I'm talking about when I say no change. There has been no effort to get closer to God. You can tell when somebody be with God. You have me Holy Ghost. There is a residue. Yes, yes, yes. Talk Holy Ghost. There is a residue of people who have been with God, right. who have spent time with God, who have spent time with God in reading the word and prayer and fasting. See, we're not talking yes. about fasting. Right. Right. Stay right there, bitch. Stay right there. Stay right there. Oh, that's the thing. The, the, no, that's, that's a New Testament gospel. Amen. If I'm in the New Testament, no, that's not, that's in the Old Testament, it's also in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. The people of God fast and pray. When they wanted God to move on their behalf, healing and deliverance take place, they went into prayer we eat Twinkies. Mm. All right. Cupcakes. Yeah. God said fast. All right. God said turn your plate over. Yeah. Jesus said, how by it, King James, how by it, things come through fasting and prayer. Right. If it worked then, it's going to work now. Yeah. Oh, yes. What kind of rest do you have on you? That's what I want to post to us today. What kind of residue do you have on you? Do you have a residue of uh, uh, just uh, uh, complacency? And let me explain that too. Complacency, I'm just, I'm fine, bro. No, you're not fine spiritually. God calls the pandemic to call the church. And this is the biggest part because the church is not even got closer to God. And I'm not talking about the people, I'm talking about the people who are in the church. We have not got close to God, even in the pandemic. Matter of fact, a whole lot of people have got far away from God. And God has called this man come so, so we can spend time with God, get close to God, and, and have our life be transformed. By the renewing of our minds. What does that mean? That means staying in God's word, staying in prayer, staying connected with God. Because a whole lot of people who are in church are disconnected. I'll go back again. You got the wrong residue. Yeah. You have God's residue. You 
You still got the old residue on you. God is looking for the church to change and get close to Him. You should not ever be content where you have spiritually. And you know that the enemy has got a lot of church folk complacent of, hey, you know, anything worth having, you want that work for. Amen. Okay, on you. That's that's so that's so powerful. If you want a new living room suit, you're not gonna go out and steal. You shouldn't anyway. You gonna work for it. You gonna save to get that new living room suit. You gonna have to work hard. To get it. Yes. But when you get it, it's worth the work. Yes. It's worth the work. Yes. I'm saying this if you want to get close to God, it's going to call for the spiritual work. Yes. You and I cannot be lazy that I do nothing to do at home on our recliners or on our couches and let God move for us. You got to do something. I got to do something. I got to spend. You got to spend time with God and hope for God to strip us spirit and it calls for work. We don't feel like right. doing it. Right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It don't smell like doing it. Do it. Right. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't going to like me today, but I'm going to go God. Because God, God, let me tell y'all something. God loves y'all so much, he wants you to do better. Yes. Yes. He loves us so much, he wants to do better and be better. Yes. Do you not know God has a multiplicity of things for us, the people of God, when we start getting closer to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. And all these stuff, the things are happening, and we just look at it. Let me go back to 9 11 for a moment. Churches were running over at 9 11. People were coming to church, they were scared, they were frightened by the terrorists and all that stuff going on. And, 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 and ah, they were, I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were going through emotions. Let me explain that. They were going through emotions. Because when you when you really the dead dead the devoted to God, you're not gonna go for the most, you're gonna keep doing it. Amen. And when I say go for the most, people are doing it for a while and they stop. Mm -hmm. That's called going through the most. Mm -hmm. God wants the church to not go through the most in the pandemic. He wants to get close to him and go press through. You gotta press in. Amen. When I was growing up old school, y'all, when I was growing up in old saints, press through. We too, we too lack a day, we too lazy. We won't we will press through because it's too much work. All right. <laughs> but the old saints, when I was growing up, and you know what? I, I was I was really nice. I was complaining about doing it when I came up, but I'm glad I did it when I came up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this new modern age religion yes. is jacked up. Yes. It's jacked up. That's what people have been in church all their life and still jacked up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Have no intention to get close to God. Mm -hmm. Have no mind set to get close to God. Mm -hmm. We sit in pews across the country, but we don't have no mind to get close to God. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier this morning, people just going to church out of habit. Well, mama didn't told me to go to church when I was a boy. Right. I was a girl. No, you have to get past that habit of going to, you have to go to church with purpose. I'm going to church to get something from God, receive from God, be blessed by God, be delivered by God, be set free by God, be healed by God. I'm going to church for this. Yes. 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 Because if I go to church and sit there and not go with purpose, I'm wasting my time and it's in God's time. Yes. So we're not, we're not being aware or alert of what going, what's going on in our society. Watch. He says, verse 8, he says, this is the beginning of sorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, the famines, the pestilence, the earthquakes, that's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus is sitting here explaining to those who are curious, mm -hmm. these four men, these four gentlemen who are curious about when the end is going to be. Mm -hmm. What are the signs of the end? Peter, James, John, and Andrew, they hear it very inquisitive of how and when he's coming back. Uh -huh. They want to know. Yeah. And so Jesus sits down, takes time, I love this, he takes time. Mm -hmm. 
You want to know? Why well, said they didn't want nobody else. Here's the catch. Here's the catch. We, we mess up this stuff. Here's the catch. He didn't go to nobody else. He went to the source. Mm -hmm. See, we go to everybody else, but we don't go to the source. Mm -hmm. That's why we so walk around and so jacked up, because we went to the wrong people and not going to the source. Yes. They had enough God in them to go to the source, which being Jesus the Christ. Yes. And they knew they would get the right answer when we went to the source. Yes. See, we're the wrong people and we get the wrong stuff, get the wrong information, yes. and we might have been jacked up like they jacked up. Yes. Let me go further. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We have out at the restaurant and talked to them, and we will receive their, their crazy spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Let me tell y'all something. These spirits are transferable. Yes. Yes. Y'all hear me? Yes. Spirits are transferable. Yes. You better, be, you better be very careful what you and who you hang around with because those spirits are transferable. Yes. Okay, give me something. If you hang around an evil person, you're going to wind up being evil. Hang around long enough, you will be evil. You're not long enough a person who's cantankerous, you will be cantankerous. Be careful what you receive in your spirit. Be careful who you hang around with and what you receive in your spirit. Yes. <laughs> These are the inner songs. Amen. There was a message you said, hey, this James John Andrew, that ain't nothing, that's just the beginning. This is going to have a coming. That go, that's going to happen. That's just the beginning of some stuff. That's just the beginning of afflictions. That's the beginning of trouble. That's the beginning of trial. You think it's bad now? Keep on living. That, 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 that. You know what? Hear me carefully when I say this. Sometimes we don't like trials and tribulations, but it's, it's to make us better. I love the words that Dr. Toss said. He said, he said, when I go through trust, he said, I ask God, what's the purpose? And sometimes he said, Sometimes it's to make me get closer to God. And so, so, so I'm learning. I ain't there yet. I'm going to talk about me for a minute. I ain't there yet. I ain't there yet. I'm asking God to teach me to try what is the purpose and how can I get close to you in my trials, in my trouble, in my situation. And you know what? I told y'all earlier this morning, after what he did, mm. and I didn't know what was going on, mm. I ain't let no joker. Y'all right. hear what I said? Right. I ain't let, I'm a background, I ain't let no joker separate me from the love of yeah. God. Right. 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 Jesus Christ. Because yeah. he's done too much for me. Let me share some with y'all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something about your friends. I shared with somebody just, just yesterday. Listen to this. I'm going to show you I'm giving them now. I'm going to give them Y'all know the story of, of, of Samson and Delilah? Watch this. Samson, Delilah, first of all, Delilah would, in, would live in a valley. Guess this. A valley is a whole place. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Help me paint the picture, God. He got attracted to the light. But in order to get close to the light, he had to go to the back. All right, all right, yeah. You should never hang with anybody who brings you down. Help me teach God. Help me teach God. Anybody who does not bring you up spiritually, you need to detach yourself from him. He goes down to the valley and connects with the liar who is in the valley. Yeah. Wait a minute, watch And it gives me, it's, I suggest to us that he must have been on the top. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Because if he was not on the top, you would not have to go down yeah, yeah, yeah. to see her. Yeah. 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 You should not ever let anybody bring you down to where they're at. All right. All right. Spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go further. 
very good friend with Seth and Delilah. He was so intrigued with Delilah, he went down. Mm -hmm. yeah. She tricked him. I'm going to use my words I haven't used in a while. She hoodwinked him. Yes, 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 yes. She hoodwinked him yes, and back boozled him. Yes, 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 yes. Smooth talking girl. Hoodwinked him. Bamboozled him with yes. sweet nothings. All right. Ooh, all right. Right sweet nothings. And so all of a sudden, he fell asleep on her lap. First of all, she was paid to deceive him. If you read your Bible, she was paid to deceive him. And so she talked real smooth and all those sweet nothings in him. He fell asleep on her lap. They cut all his hair off. First of all, watch this. Thank you, Lord. I didn't see this just now. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. First of all, when Samson was dedicated to God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. he was dedicated to God. He was, his mother gave him over to God. Uh -huh. yeah. and, the, and, and the cut was with Samson, was, he was not the cut of his hair. Let me backtrack a bit. Because the lion was trying, he, he was not smart enough. The lion that kept trying to get his secret to his strength. And he just kept lying to her. Yeah. Read your Bible. Yeah. She kept, he, she kept lying, he kept lying to her. And the violence she talked so smooth to him, he crumbled and gave in. They cut his locks of hair. They pluck out his eyes. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. They took his strength. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you hang out there because they'll, they'll take your strength. Uh -huh. yeah, they, yeah. Mm -hmm. they pluck his eyes out. Mm -hmm. He couldn't see. See, now you can't see what you need to see. Because you done been hooked with them bamboozled by going in the mouth. Watch it. I'm going to know it. By knowing your standards. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you got to walk by yourself, don't know your standards. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let me tell you, you're not by yourself. But the Bible says in Matthew chapter 28, yeah. uh, verse 20, he says, No, I'm with you. Oh, the word no means see. Yeah. I'm always with you. Oh, yeah. Even to the the world of the end of the age. Yeah. You know what verse you read? Yes, he is. You need to kick something to the curb. How? That's it. That's right. Young folk. Don't you ever go down to get what God wants you to have. Thank you for the tweet, God. Thank you for that tweet. Don't you ever go down for what God wants you to have. Amen, amen. You need to keep up. Yes. And if anything, you ought to hear what's going to bring you up. Yes. Analogy. This is a brief analogy. Say the reason. If I'm here and I'm not down, here. Yeah. But I'm up here. Uh -huh. I need to have somebody to take me up here. I need to be. I should be content with being right here. Yeah. I need the same person or somebody else to bring me from here yeah. Yeah. to up here. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have to lose an ever around goes higher. Yeah.
Let me go back to this test. You want to think about yourself spiritually. Because if you want to go to the next dimension in God and receive the next blessing of God, you got to see yourself. Amen. And when I say step and step up, Amen. 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 Now, if you have a job, listen to me carefully. If you have a job, who have a job? Mm -hmm. If you have a job, while on the job, you've been there for a while, you expect mm -hmm. to advance. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 You don't expect to stay where you at. Mm -hmm. You expect to advance. Now watch this. Watch this. As you expect to advance, yeah. you do whatever it takes. Righteously, because yeah. he can do some stuff crookedly. Yeah. 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 I'm going to make it good. But if you do what is right and righteously, right. righteously you are expect to advance. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to even go further. Even if you do what is right and you, are, watch it, and you don't even ask God. That's it. Mm -hmm. Stay with me, Lisa. I'm demonstrating that. That's the Holy Ghost. Watch this. If you don't even ask God, verbally, but inwardly, mm -hmm. very carefully, but inwardly, you expect to advance. Yes, yes. And because you are walking righteously mm -hmm. and doing all that you can do to please God Almighty, God will even if you don't ask, will call you to advance. Yes, yes. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to give you an example. The position I have on my job, I didn't even ask for it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh -huh. Wasn't even thinking about it. I was thinking about getting out of there and getting yeah. hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just doing my time. Uh -huh. Watch what I'm telling you. If you live right, this is what keeps me keep going. Keep going. If you just keep learning, doing right and doing what you're supposed to do, yeah. and ask God to help you when you mess up, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. ask God to help you when you mess up, yeah. and when you help you mess up, don't do it again.
concerned about African Americans being in management where I work. So she came to me and said, you know, so-so, yeah, I know I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I'll tell you later who he is. A little boy, I knew him when I was a little boy. He said, well, Raymond's an African American manager. He shut up. He said, I want to, he said, I want to tell you that and let you know that. He said, you got any problems? No, I got no problems. I'm good. God will give you favor with yeah. people you don't even ask for favor with. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I love God so much. He's doing some stuff for yes. me here of late. And I shared with somebody just a few days ago. Uh, I can't hang around nobody who's going to take me down. Right. Right. What God is, God is doing for me yeah. and showing me what's it, and showing me about me. Right. Yeah. Let me hang my head right here for a minute. Some stuff he showed you, you, you ain't going to like either. All right. Because some of you have showed me about me. Bishop Raymond Ross, Jr. Pastor Stop, and the Baptist Pastor Coach of He showed me some stuff and a present. But if I intend to keep walking with God, I got to make some changes. Yes. All right, all right. God made a pencil with an eraser on it. On purpose. Intentionally. Knowing that someone who writes for it is going to make a mistake. Yes. Can I just let you know, when God shows you your mistakes, Jesus is the, the eraser that erases out your mistakes. Yes, he but you got to make sure that you want that mistake erased out. Yes. Yes, Lord. Ooh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he go back to the text. And then in verse 9, he says, you got to catch this. And then they will deliver you up to tribulations and kill you. Wow, I'm glad it's that we asked. <laughs> it's in the second portion. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. People are going to hate you Amen. because you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the sign of the time. Mm -hmm. They're going to hate you. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you up the cruel suffering. By all nations. Every nation except for the Jews. Because every other nation is Gentiles. Listen, this Gentiles are considered heathens. If you look at the biblically and do your research on, on, on that, uh, the Gentiles were considered heathens. Guess what, y'all? Y'all are heathens, y'all saints. Because all of us are in here are Gentiles. Oh, we've been saved by grace. Amen. 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 Hey, for his name's sake. But I want to tell you something. People would, even through the natural calamities, the followers of Jesus Christ will have to face people who will rise against them and hand them over to be tortured and be killed. They will be hated by people of all nations, all nationalities, all races, because of because of the name, mm -hmm. the authority, yes. the character yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because you have his scent, mm -hmm. a sweet smelling scent. Yeah. Is that what the Bible says? Yes. You have the aroma of yes. Jesus. Yes. You have the smell of Jesus. Because if you have any of you women or men who have colognes at home, you have you know put some cologne on. Mm -hmm. Or some, some kind of smell good. Yeah, some kind. Some kind. Oh. I trust. Right. And so you have that aroma of whatever fragrance you put on. Mm -hmm. So now we have our believers, we have the aroma and the scent of Jesus the Christ. Mm -hmm. Woo. Amen. And since we have this scent, the world don't like our scent. <laughs> and so we, we, we're going to be faced with all kinds of opposition. But, but however, the secret of the victory is, even in the persecution, there is a secret of victory in the word.
my name means safe. Persecution pro provided, this is pro persecution provided an opportunity for Peter to witness to the Sanhedrin, the same Sanhedrin that put Jesus to death. Persecution allowed that to happen. Watch it. Transformation took place. Because that the same hat, Sanhedrin put Jesus to death, he witnessed to. He could have said, I ain't fooling them. They killed my Lord and said, Jesus Christ. Yes. But when you have Jesus on the inside, no matter what's going on, God has a mission for all of us to be a witness. Yes. Even if you don't say a word, live it. Sometimes it's best to just live anyway. Amen. Amen. Cause some people perpetrate by verbally saying they're a Christian and your life doesn't match up. I was using the word I used when I was in the Bible study a few weeks ago. Your audio don't match your video. All right. That's right. That's right. I'm saying again. Your audio don't match your video. What I mean by that, you say it, but what you're doing don't match up with what you're saying. Opportunity. It also gave an opportunity for, for others to, to preach the gospel. It also gave Paul the opportunity to preach the governors and kings through the persecution. <laughs> and you find it in, a moment, in Acts 8, verses 1 and verse 4. But well, let's get down. And I close, verse 17. Can I just teach this? Thank you. I was going to say anyway, you didn't say that. <laughs> I'm going to obey God. Leave our consequences to him. He says this in verse 15. He says, and many will be offended. I stood right there for a moment. I asked the text a question. He said, then many will be offended. So I asked the text, and this was the verse scripture. What does it really mean? He says, many will be offended. He, he does not really mean what Webster says. Hurt feelings. He ain't talking about that. He ain't talking about being, being insulted. He ain't talking about that. Which is part of Webster's definition of offended. But I want to show you what a literal meaning of offended in verse number 10 of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. It really means many will be Ensnared. That means we're trapped. Yes. I'm going to use my word quick when you're done now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Many will fall away because of temptation. Mm -hmm. Let me say something else. If you're not rooted in God, grounded in God, I'm encouraging you to get rooted and grounded in God. Mm -hmm. Because the world is tricky mm -hmm. and deceptive. Yes. It also means it calls one to stumble, suggesting professing believers who fall away and even turn against one another. This is in shocking spiritual treachery. Spiritual treachery. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to say it again. Suggesting the believers who stumble. Who will fall away, professing Christians will fall away and even turn against each other in shocking acts of spiritual treachery. Y'all know treachery years. Spiritual treachery. These are believers. These, what Jesus is talking about, right? Jesus is not talking about sinners. Well, that's what sinners do. But he said, this, in the last day, this is what the saints are going to do. The believers, the believers are going to do. Shocking treachery against one another. Let me say this, thank you, Lord. Because sin people come with that, that, that mindset and that shocking stuff to church. <clears throat> I had to go back old school church. When them old saints used to walk to church, they didn't have vehicles like we got. They, they didn't drive to church, they walked to church. But in the meantime, while walking to church, they were being, they were being consecrated while on their way to church. We're not consecrated anymore to church. We're just, he was a snake and that's the dog.
And God wants us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Our minds have got to change. The way we think has got to be changed. The way we feel has got to be changed. Our emotions has got to be changed. He ain't talking about sin. He's talking about believers. Church people. Spiritual treachery. Let me be comfortable just a moment. Nazareth, Nazareth, he was a junkyard dog. <laughs> and you listen to this. And ain't got no mind to be a change. Have no intention of being a change. Complacency is dangerous. Being satisfied where we at is dangerous. Quit beating the body, get out of the body, and come to the mountain. Change the way you think. Change the way you act. Let me go further. This treachery means, also means betrayal of trust. It also means disloyalty. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. And then listen to this. I'm coming home. We'll betray one another and hate one another. Will deceive one another. Mm -hmm. Will also betray their associates. Mm -hmm. Watch this. I'm using my hands. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. We're doing this. We need to stop doing that too. We're doing stuff. We need to get doing this. We're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. That, that's disorder. That's out of order. The Bible says, do all things decent and in order. Yes. 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 So, I got a permission. She's my associate. Follow me. She's my associate. Mm -hmm. As she being my associate, I'm connected to her. Mm -hmm. But now I got a spirit on me. Catch mm -hmm. me. Let me demonstrate this. Catch me, God. We've been associates or friends for years. All right. All of a sudden, I have allowed the enemy mm -hmm. to get in my spirit. Mm -hmm. And so now I just I betray her. Mm -hmm. We've been friends for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we grew up together. All right. mm -hmm. We went to vacation Bible school together. Right. We went to Sunday school together. Yeah. We went to youth class together. Mm -hmm. We went to adult class together. Mm -hmm. And now I have a wrong spirit and I now am operating in deceit. Or deception. That's a word. Deception. And so now I'm going to start lying to her. I'm going to start saying some crazy stuff about her that ain't got nothing to do with her. It's just something I'm going to make up. No, let's go further. It's something that's how I feel about her. Your feelings can get you in trouble. Your feelings can get you going to hell with your eyes wide open. So we'll go back down. So what I need to do. What I need to do, yeah, yeah. number one, old school. Follow me, Lisa. I'm going to teach this thing of God's help. Right. I got this going on against her. Right. I've been saying all this mess about her. Right. Ain't even true. Yeah. She didn't even think about that. Right. So what I got to do is go to the prayer, number one. Yeah. And it's God to fix me. Yeah. It's a song to fix me, Jesus. Yeah. Fix me. Yeah. I don't need God to fix her. I'm the one that's messed up. So as I go to God and ask him to fix it, I can go to the altar. Now I'm going to go to the altar. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to the altar on my knees. On my knees is submission. On my knees is, on my stand up is arrogance. But on my knees, I'm in submission to God. I'm in humble spirit with God yeah. and asking God to train and transform me. Get this spirit out of me. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. After he gets out of me, I got number two. He's going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Am I in Bible country? Yeah. 
But the Bible says, if I get a walk against my brother or sister, I ain't get it right. No, the one or two, I ain't get it right with her. And say, you feel me? I, 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 I'm using a, a second term. I ditched you. Uh-huh. And I need to get right with her. First, get right with God. Second, get right with her. And then we can walk together. In unity and harmony. But we walk around this morning. I know somebody. Yeah. I know what you're talking about this room. Right. And we're operating dysfunctional. Yeah. And this, listen to me, y'all. It's too late in the year to fool around, mess around, and go to hell and die over some foolishness. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I told you last time that those who saw, he said, get right, Jesus, get right, get right, church, and just go home. Because uh -huh. the end of change just might be too late. People are getting going out of here, they're going out here fast, yeah. quicker than a hair. Yeah. And hold up, the thing is, when, when I was young, people used to fear God. We don't fear God anymore. Yeah. We just do anything, we say anything, and act any kind of way, and we don't fear God. We need to respect and reverence God. Amen. Holy reverence. Holy respect to God. Amen? Amen. Yeah. The close. The takeaway. Now closing. Persecution will come. It's gonna come. It's gonna come from people. Yes, yes. But how you handle persecution yes. is a point. Amen. Do you handle it righteously mm -hmm. or do you handle it unrighteously? Mm -hmm. Down through the centuries, such persecution and hatred have caused some Christians to fall into sin. And the nine of faith. Thus, in every age, the spread of sin and godlessness has caused the light in some hearts to go out. Some former believers have even become enemies of the gospel. Because we're the last day, I don't think I'm going to take us, because I'm here in the middle talking about parents times. The Bible says in the book of Timothy, it said they would turn their ears from the truth. Yes. We have people who sit in church and, and one bit more about word, listening to the word of God than the man in the room. Yeah. I'm thinking, the Bible, don't read you, Timothy. The Bible says men would turn their ears yes. from the truth. Yes. And what's it? Listen, and would turn the flavor stuff to make you laugh. Yes. This ain't to make you laugh, this is to make you change. Yes, yes, yes. It's to make you change. And now close it. Now close it in here. Draw close to God like never before. It is too late in the evening to fool around there. Get close to God. I'm young here again. I'm doing what God told me to do. I say what God said, said me to say. But God loves you and so do I. God wants you to do better and I want you to be, do better. And God wants me to be better and do better too. Yeah. He ain't talking just y'all, he's talking to me too. Yeah. Just like Paul was delivered, he wrote it over half the New Testament Bible. He said, let us. He was in the music. Hey, yo, I have I've written the Bible, I've written the Bible. But I am not, I have not arrived yet. He even said, forget those things that are behind me. I reach for the things that are for me. I'm going forward. Yes, yes. But I'm not arrived yet. I'm not there yet. Uh -huh. I'm not arrived. I'm just a liberal boy. I'm messing. And I'm preaching to myself. Yes, yes. And any preacher who said they're not preaching to themselves, they're lying. Mm -hmm. Or they see themselves. Mm -hmm. Because God gives us a word for the people and a word for us too. And, and he resides first with us first. Don't forget the message first. Yeah, we hear first. So it's up to us who deliver the message. Deliver the message. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to bless you. We're going to keep you just in prayer. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Amen. And guess what? Ain't a thing you do about it. Ain't a thing you do about it. Ain't a thing you do about it. God loves you and I do too. 
And we want, we want you to be better, do better. And be all God has called you to be in these last and evil days. As we're about to pray, uh, before I ask for prayer requests, I want to make a mention. Remember, Minister Bernie Walker asked for prayer for her, her friend, Sister Proctor, Proctor, with Sister Proctor Pass. Uh, I want to pray for that family. I want to pray for the Cage family. I want to pray for Sister Diane and family. Uh, I want to pray uh, for Sister Lisa's dad. We want to also pray for Sister Barn, uh, Gwen Barnes. I got a message that they had to take her to the hospital this morning. So we want to pray for Sister Gwen Barnes this morning. The Lord will bless and touch. Also, sisters, I know it's not for I pray for you tomorrow, right? Tell me, tell me your sister's name again. Aveen. Aveen Grace. Aveen. 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 Okay, I'll try to do that right. <laughs> the Lord knows her. Amen. Aveen. Okay. I'm gonna pray for her. Pray for you as well. Any, any other prayer requests? Yes, ma'am. God, you do 
as only you can do in the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you bless the Diane and family. You touch and bless and strengthen with your mighty hand in the name of Jesus. We pray God you bless uh, our man, uh, uh, sister, touch her body with your mighty hand of you from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Oh, God, move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. I pray you bless Sister Nubia as she travels. Give her traveling mercies. As she arrives at the destination safely without any of her going in. And when it's time to return, she returns back home safely without any of her on her hands. You touch and bless in a mighty and an abundant way. I pray God you touch the body of Sister Gwen Barnes. Touch with your mighty and awesome hand. You speak and declare. Healing and health be upon her body, God. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless Mr. Mary Walker. Touch her body. Shoot her body with your mighty hand of healing, God. Give strength, give energy, God. Bless her, God, in a mighty and an abundant way. In Jesus' name. God, I pray, God, you bless God. Scott's father. Touch God's Father's body with your mighty hand of healing from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. God, Mr. Bernie's asked for prayer for the healed family. Uh, touch with your mighty hand. Touch hearts. Touch minds. Touch lives. God, bring transformation, God. Bring a closeness to you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And God, we pray, God, to bless DJ and Roger, touch their lives, touch their minds, bring them to you, God. I bind the hand of the enemy in their lives, and I pray you touch them and bring them to you, God. Bring them to you, God. In the name of Jesus, I bind the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Say to lose your hope. The blood of Jesus is against you. We speak, God. These young men come to you yes. and being men of valor for you, God. Yes. We speak it, God. Yes. We declare it, God. And we decree it in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand. Bless, bless the, uh, Lisa's dad. Touch his body with your mighty hand of healing. From the top of his head to sort of feet, God. Bless that leg to, 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 to uh, uh, heal properly, God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power, God. Bless our daughter, Jackie, God. Touch that Jackie, God, in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power, God. Oh, God, I pray you bless Joyce. Oh, God, Brown, God, continue to bless her, God. Sing her, God. Oh, God, just move mighty for her, God. Just move in an awesome way for her, God. Shrink her, God, and carry her, God. Keep her uplifted, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And God, I pray, God, who bless Brother Russell. Touch his body with your mighty hand of healing, God. Oh, God, move mighty for him, God, in an awesome and a mighty way, God. God, bless all of the sick of the church, name by name and one by one, God. We speak and declare unity and help. Be upon that body, God. Move mighty and move awesomely, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, God, I pray, God. That you just bless us in this coming week, God. Give blessings and open doors for us, God. Uh, meet the needs of this your people, God. Name by name and one by one, God. Encourage your people. Uplift your people, God. In a mighty and an abundant way, God. Do it, God. That we'll be the people you call for in these last and evil days. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name for your glory in this earth. Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen, amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Nothing else goes out of teaching. We'll be in addition. Mr. George will uh, urge you out. Now to him. Let's able to keep you from falling. Present you faultless before the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever, and all the people of God, say, Amen. Amen.
God bless you. May you have a great week. May God's blessing be upon you, the people of God. Please say, God bless you. From the good ministers, I need to see you.